the age of 25 is a day that I will remember forever. A day when you're told that your life is going to be cut short. I chose to continue to live and that day has resulted in me being the first Australian to compete in para taekwondo at the Paralympic Games. On that day, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, a condition that has no cure and progressively gets worse each and every day. Growing up in Chinchilla in the southwest region, uh, once you're good at one sport, you then made every representative sport. I think every single night at university, I was out playing a different sport when most people were out drinking. <laughs> My first symptoms of MS were visual disturbances. So being a goalkeeper for soccer, what I was finding is that I'd get blurry vision and then I'd get double vision. So I'd have two balls coming at me and then I would just go completely blind. Everything would be black. So I made the assumption that sweat was getting into my contact lenses because it was only happening when I was exercising. I knew that something was, was wrong and I remember after that game of just going back to my car and lying on the back seat just crying because I knew that something was not right. The neurologist that uh, I first dealt with, um, I still remember she said to me, I'm terribly sorry, you've got multiple sclerosis, there's no cure for it. It's progressed quite rapidly and she said without any treatment you would be in a wheelchair within five years and a vegetable within 10 years. She said your life expectancy is about 40 years old. Multiple sclerosis is where the immune system attacks your central nervous system. It was my worst outcome. I remember going, why me? I'm fit, I don't smoke. There's no family history, I eat well. I just pretended I didn't have multiple sclerosis. And I said, I'd rather go quickly than, than having bits and pieces taken away each and every day. People joke that at the age of 26, I found this uncanny ability to knock someone out by kicking them in the head. I first became involved in Taekwondo when I was still living in Chinchilla. The instructor at the time, she said, you should try Taekwondo. And I said, I can't do Taekwondo, like, look at me. And she's like, just try it. So I went to the first session and remember vomiting in the garden halfway through, um, but never looked back at all. Three months into training, I won my first national title for sparring and then it's just sort of been a whirlwind of international tournaments. In 2019, I won my third world championship for the Pumse. Wheelchair tennis, I became involved in 2016 by accident. I was at a talent search for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics and a gentleman and he said, I want you for wheelchair tennis. So he put me in a chair and gave me a tennis racket and I did a couple of drills. My first tournament was three months later and it was the national titles and I've won the national titles for singles for the last four years in a row. My MS impacts me in many different ways. I have no feeling in my arms or legs, so I constantly feel the pins and needles. I'm heat intolerant, so a hot day then results in arms and legs not working. Your body shuts down. You don't even know where you are. You can't think straight. I have trouble with balance. I have trouble with coordination. So I can't run, but I can walk. Um, I can't play tennis normally, but I can play wheelchair tennis. In February this year, we had our Paralympic qualifiers, which are successful to gain the position for Australia. It's kind of poetic that I will be competing at the Paralympics at the age of 40 when that was my life expectancy. When we finally got the announcement that it was going to be officially postponed, 
That was a, a sad day for me. But having a progressive um, disability time's not my friend at all. I've got another year in which I'm going to get worse. Rather than the focus on the negative and what's being taken away, is what do I still have and what can I still do with that? Remember I was at a Taekwondo camp and I had to break a board for the very first time. The instructor said to me, he's like, what's wrong? And I said, I can't break the board, I can't feel my right leg, it's all floppy, I'm gonna hurt myself. I was coming up with every excuse that there was. And he just looked at me and he was silent and he said, well, what about your left? My left is okay. And he said, well, let's use your left. So I broke my first ever board using my left foot. Everyone has the choice and you are in control of the choices that you make. The day I learnt I was dying was the day I chose to live. Would I want to take away my diagnosis? I don't think so. MS has made me the person who I am. Originally my journey was just solely focused on me. Now I'm doing this so that the next wave of athletes can come through. If I can say that there have been a thousand children that have the confidence in themselves to be able to do something that they never thought that they could do, that's way more important to me than a thousand gold medals.